This video is sponsored by Squarespace. I grew up in the American South. Maybe not the heart of it, but close enough to see and experience a setting and environment around me that I caught closer glimpses of when my family traveled deeper into the South. A setting and environment that is very rarely represented in movies. This is why I think I've been so drawn to writer and director Jeff Nichols' filmography. A native of Arkansas, there's a character that ties all of Nichols' films together. And I'm not talking about Michael Shannon, although their five-film collaboration has produced some of his best roles. All of Nichols' films are set and shot in the South, with the exception of Take Shelter, but more on that one later. Shotgun Stories, Nichols' first film, sets up the story of a feud between broken families in Arkansas. The decay of the area helps mirror the lack of hope for anything better that drives the characters towards conflict. Nichols' third film, Mud, is as much named after the setting as it is the main character. Set and shot along the Mississippi River in Arkansas, the location seeps through every pore of the film. Midnight Special spans more territory than Nichols' other films, but placing the climactic moments in Louisiana brings the director back into comfortable territory. And finally with Loving, set in Virginia near where I grew up, Nichols looks at the South not just as a setting but as a subject, bringing some of the underlying conflicts of the location out of the subtext and addressing them clearly. The South isn't a favorite of Hollywood's, but it's gotten its fair share of exposure over the years. However, representation of it is limited. Most films have portrayed the historic South, an idealized, idyllic version of the South, or an upper-class version of the South. But none of these are the South I'm talking about. Jeff Nichols' image of the South is a South that I recognize. It's a South where disenchanted men work manual labor jobs, where the idea of living off the land still exists as an ideal, even after industrialization has reared its head and then left the area in shambles. It's a South where the touch of man did not create beautiful cities and parks, but came, used the land and its inhabitants, and left scars and broken people, and where men now abandoned by other richer men do what they can to scrape by. It's a place with its problems, but its people, perhaps inexplicably, love it. They find identity and pride in the place. They dream not of escaping, but of bettering themselves and the land where they grew up. This South is one where a return to nature is still revered, and Nichols shows all this, the beauty and the scars with the same loving gaze. There isn't a judgment, just a tenderness for the people, for the places. He doesn't shy away from the damage and the problems, but he doesn't inflate them into caricatures or suck all the humanity out of the setting. I've seen the term Southern Gothic used to describe Nichols' films, and that strikes me as a little funny. The elements present in Nichols' South, if they were exaggerated, could constitute Southern Gothic, but anyone who describes Nichols' work that way hasn't seen how real his South is. These themes are so grounded in Nichols' work that even when he does set a story outside the South, like he did with Take Shelter, his second film, set and shot in Ohio, he still looks at the land and the people with the same gaze. I even found Take Shelter incorrectly included on a list of best Southern movies. Ohio becomes a facsimile of Nichols' image of the South, differentiated only by name. Nichols uses the visual language of his films to communicate aspects of the setting. In shotgun stories and in loving, the stillness and slowness of the pacing communicate the slower pace of life. Often shots don't move, they just rest. And his films are shot mostly outside under natural sunlight relying heavily on nature for locations. In Mud, he uses the slow, steady cam movement throughout the film to mimic the slow flowing of the Mississippi River, reinforcing how it's at the heart of this area and the film. Nichols South 
isn't a complete picture of the place. It isn't meant to be, though. It's a picture that obviously Nichols himself is in love with, one that is clearly meaningful to him. And I think it's one that is put forth by someone who understands the place, who themselves is a product of the South. I'm not a diehard fan of the South, perhaps because I wasn't born there. You wouldn't have to do much to lure me back into the North or out West, but the image of those who are rooted in this place is one that I recognize and one I can sympathize with, and I think it's one that's rarely understood well enough to be portrayed accurately. I don't think Hollywood has intentionally ignored this image of the South. It's just a matter of writing what you know, and most of them don't know this image of the South. It took someone who understood that image to film there and express it clearly. I think this shows the importance of localized voices, how smaller artists can represent an area authentically in a way nobody else has. And I hope Nichols is the kind of director we'll see more of in the future of film. Thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Squarespace's beautiful templates make it easy to make a website for whatever your needs are. You just go in, choose out one of the beautiful award-winning templates, you customize it to fit your needs, whether you're making a website for your band, for a new business idea you have, for your YouTube channel, whatever your needs are, Squarespace is drop-dead simple to use and painless, and I personally love it. And you can get everything you need right there within the platform, including a domain. Start your free trial today at squarespace.com and enter offer code THOMASFLIGHT to get 10% off your first purchase. Thank you so much to everybody for watching. I really appreciate all your views and support and feedback. Let me know in the comments if there's a director who has portrayed a certain area in a way that particularly resonates with you. If you enjoy my videos, I make follow-up blog posts, post reviews, and some additional content on my Patreon, and you can get access to all that by supporting my Patreon, and I appreciate those who do so much. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all next time.